if you are working with a data whether you're in it business or analytics you know how crucial it is to keep things organized trusted and secure and that's exactly where calibra the leading data governance platform comes in hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to walk you through on how to use calibra from navigating the interface managing data assets to implementing governance workflows and setting up data stewardship so whether you're a beginner or just need a refresher this video will help you get confident with calibra in no time so let's begin now the first thing that you need to do visit the official website of calibra and from here there's going to be multiple options but the best option is going to be register for an account all i have to do is click this button right here and you will be forwarded to a new page right provide all of the information needed first last name business email password and click the register button and then you should be able to receive a welcome email to activate your account if you do click on it and you will be forwarded to the main dashboard just wait for it to load and at this point loading times may vary if you are using a vpn or an antivirus you might want to pause that for now because that could interfere with the connection okay and then after that you will be successfully logged into your account so you have all these options for you you have the option to collaborate sites you have the products use cases and customers and partners all right so we're gonna deal with all, with all of them now now on the top right corner there's gonna be an option where we can explore the calibra sites basically the calibra.com is the official website it serves as the main entry point for exploring the data intelligence platform right so think of it as the main homepage or public face of calibra the dashboard refers to the user interface once we are logged into the Calibra platform. It provides centralized view of the university, as you can see, community, Gartner UK, marketplace, developer portal, and the product research center, plus the resource library. Now, the community is the collaborative space for Calibra users, okay? So you have the discussion forums, tips, and best practices, peer-to-peer -peer support, announcements, and updates. It's useful for asking questions, sharing insights, and learning from other Calibra users and experts. And of course, you can join the community, view discussions, and of course, search from any of the following topics. And then the next is going to be the developer portal. Essentially, it's a hub for technical users and developers. It offers API documentation, SDKs, sample code workflows, integration intended for building custom integrations, automations, or extensions on top of Calibra. Now, next in line is we have the documentation. It's going to be the official product manuals and help guides from Calibra. So it includes installation and configuration steps, user guides, admin instructions, and release notes and version info, which is essential for both end users and administrators all right now we're gonna go back again to the main home page because let's talk about the marketplace okay so it's gonna be the digital catalog of calibra compatible apps connectors and extensions so you have custom integrations jdbc drivers calibra starter packs so these offers pre-built integrations with tools like snowflake tableau power bi aws giving you visualization templates data quality plugins so think of it like an app store for extending calibra's capabilities now next in line is we have essentially the product resource center it's going to be the centralized location for accessing learning resources and tools to get the most out of calibra it includes training materials webinars tutorials and quick start guides often tied to onboarding or continuous learning all right and then of course there's going to be the support which is going to be the calibra's customer support portal you can access to raise tickets get technical help and resolve issues it might include access to the knowledge base and sla documentation so with that being said here 
there's a more important part of the university which is i really like because from here you can learn so much about Calibra if you want to have your journey to the data intelligence right here from the university these are going to be free absolutely early learning topics like a helpful help desk primer for stewards you can click on this and you will be forwarded here right so the course details 11 minutes time to complete unlimited access it's free instructor is going to be Nate getting and a lot more right so Basically, you can enroll. If you click on it, you'll be forwarded here. You can sign in with the SAML SSO. It's a very easy thing to do. Now, now we're talking about the products. As you can see, there's going to be the AI governance where it ensures that AI systems are responsible, ethical, and trustworthy. So it provides oversight on AI models to ensure they comply with policies, product valuable outcomes, and of course, do not introduce risks now the next is going to be the data catalog i like it so much because it offers metadata context and lineage to its users understand what data is available what it means and how to access it and then there's going to be the data notebook i like it so much because for one it gives you collaborative data analysis and insights so it encourages teams collaboration transparency and of course it provides a shared environment for users who like data analysts and data scientists to write queries view results and annotate findings and then there's going to be some product about the uh, data lineage basically it shows the journey of data through systems and transformations so it visualizes the flow of data from source to consumption helping users understand dependencies, trace issues, and ensure compliance. Now, the last from the product is going to be the Protect. The Protect Control and Safeguard Data Access. So it defines who can access which data and under what conditions. It automatically enforces these rules to protect sensitive or restricted information. And having said all of that, that's a wrap on how to use Calibra, the powerful data governance platform. Now, if you're serious about data quality, compliance, and accountability, Calibra is a robust choice. It might have a learning curve, but once you're in, the benefits are well worth it. So whether you're setting up your data catalog, managing data policies, or improving collaboration between teams, Calibra provides the structure and flexibility in today's data-driven business needs. Now, you can take advantage of the Calibra's workflow, role-based permissions, and automation features to streamline your governance strategy. If you found this video helpful, do not forget to like the video, drop your questions or experiences in the comments. Subscribe and hit the bell icon so you won't miss more data and software walkthroughs right here. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you again in the next video.